How y'all doing? It is Monday, May 16th, 2022 AD, and it is 9.01 a.m. U.S. Pacific Daylight Time here in Los Angeles. Angeles. I'm just retweeting my Twitter. Did you know that I stream on Twitter, too? That's cool. <laughs> um... We're going to have a fun Monday show. We will talk a little bit about that little shooting. I mostly only like to talk about black crime, though. Let's be honest. Let's be real. Let's talk about the the real issues. But I'll touch on this stuff, this uh, white shooting that uh, took place over the weekend. They're trying to blame the decent people for it. Of course, one of the most decent men in the world, Tucker Carlson. What a shame. And meanwhile, they're, they're protesting to kill the babies. They protest the uh, killing of blacks, but then protest to be able to kill the black babies and the uh, white babies. What a shame, huh? It's ridiculous. There's a rhino who's fighting for what's right, though, named Pete Ricketts. I call him a rhino because he's a Nebraska Republican governor who apologized for saying, you people, even though he didn't say, you people, <laughs> back in 2020. And they're also fighting to push the transgender kids. Lots of evil in the world. Never trust evil people to fight accurately and diagnose accurately about other evil. Right? They cannot fight to stop the, uh, they cannot fight effectively to stop the, um, suiciding that's been going on. You know, a lot of kids, so-called LGBTQ kids, killing themselves. And then there's these people who are wolves in sheep's clothing. Wanting to save the kids from killing themselves, but also push them into the transgenderism or homosexualityism. What a shame, huh? All that and your calls, you can call in. But anyway, guys, let's get right on with the show! One, two, three, four. Oh, it's the Hague Report. The Hague Report. La, la, la. How you guys doing? I am fine. I am wearing what people were calling on my Hake News. YouTube isn't working. On Hake News, my Costco shirt. Is that true? Press one if YouTube is working. Press two if it's not. <laughs> it's not a Costco shirt. I don't go to Costco. I've been there once or twice, maybe, but I don't have a Costco membership. I got rid of my Sam's Club membership. I protested them after that Paula Dean woman. Allegedly, like, it came out that she said the N-word or something like that years before. And so they, they pulled her books off the shelves, Sam's Club and Walmart and all them. So I boycotted, uh, okay, thank you for the one. So I boycotted Sam's Club after that. And I never really joined Costco. I think the owner of Costco is a dumb liberal too. But so are the Wal- Walton family, whoever owns Walmart or whatever. What a shame. Maybe they're, what is their last name, Walmart? (laughs) I will be getting to your calls, everybody. Um, But let me, it is Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you had a nice weekend. I did. I took a nice sabato. That means, that's Spanish for Sabbath. That means you take the day off on Saturday. And it was, pretty much took the day off. Didn't work. Hung out pretty much at home. Just chilled. Walked around. Got some sunshine. Can you tell? (laughs) Uh, walked around, I saw, oh, I don't have any pictures of it, but follow me on IG, guys. Let me just do a little announcement. Follow me, follow the Hake Report on Instagram. He's very active there. Not. But I did post, uh, yesterday evening, something that I saw before noon, Saturday morning, right here in, uh, Los Angeles, Chemtrails. Chemtrails in the air. Chemtrails for Alex Jones, <laughs> my competitor. And if you will forgive me for mentioning my competitor's name, 
on air while he is on air too. But don't go over there. Stay with Hake, you faithful people. What's up, everybody? But it said Alex Jones was right. And that's what it said. So you can see the photographs on my IG, Instagram.com slash the Hake Report. If any of you guys use internet, like websites rather than the app, the Hake Report on Instagram, it said Alex Jones was right. Infowars.com. These synchronized, you know, the five jets that are flying around promoting like McDonald's thing, McDonald's marketing messages and stuff like that. Well, it was saying the five jets would like spray paint in the air or what is it? Chemtrail in the air. Spray out little skywriting messages. Alex Jones was right. Infowars.com. Wow. Yikes. He's a colleague, says Raymond Eleven. My colleague, not my competitor. (laughs) But anyway, that's cool. Alex Jones has interviewed JLP and uh, frequently my other competitor, uh, Owen Troyer and Harrison Smith, whom I met over there at AFPAC 3. Uh, we'll interview JLP as well. Nice. So, uh, yeah, follow Hake on IG. You can also support Hake by going to subscribestar.com slash the Hake Report. Exclusive content there. Very nice. First, before I get right, before I get to calls, hmm. yeah, before I get to calls, let me cover this buffalo soldier. Is he a buffalo soldier? The far-left female run outlet, The Skim. You want to hear what The Skim has to say, don't you? Reports, Buffalo just experienced the deadliest mass shooting of 2022 AD. On O Domini, the year of our Lord. On Saturday, a white 18-year-old drove about 200 miles from his hometown to a supermarket in Buffalo, New York, armed with an AR-15 and wearing body armor. The suspect live-streamed. I heard that he live-streamed on Twitch. That's why I want to get on Cozy. Uh, as he entered the Topps Friendly Markets store, that he then opened fire. I heard that he opened fire outside the store, actually. That's what I heard. And shot several people outside the store. I don't know how many is several. Normally it means like seven plus or six plus at least. But the, when you look up the definition of several, it's like more than two or two or more, something like that. Can you believe it? That's so wrong. I feel that that's wrong. Anyway, um, he killed 10 people, injured three others, allegedly, right? He's been charged with first-degree murder. I heard that he pleaded not guilty. That's what you're supposed to do when you first show up to court, I hear. You know, the, a, a lawyer worth his salt, including even a, uh, a public defender lawyer, will plead not guilty, usually, at least at first. Um, faces life in prison without parole. Okay, so no possibility of death penalty. Unless, I guess, the feds come in with a hate crime charge, which I bet they would. And then do they get to do the death penalty or something? I don't know. Remember that black female attorney general under Obama went after Dylan Roof to get the death penalty against him. I think he's on death row. Dylan Roof, the guy who shot up the church in Charleston. What was that? One of the Carolinas. I can't keep my Carolinas straight. Sorry, Southerners. I'm not sorry, but forgive me. You know I love the South, the beautiful South. This is the beautiful Southern Christian flag, which is for what's right, not for what's evil. Why did this happen, says the far-left females at the skim? Racism, they say. Lying. The attack took place in a predominantly black, and they capitalized the B in the word black because they're kissing up to blacks, which doesn't help anybody. Predominantly black neighborhood. Out of the 13 people shot, 11 were black. I heard the first person he shot was a white woman. That's what I heard. Officials have confirmed the attack was racially motivated. 180-page manifesto. (laughs) How do they get the number of pages? I'm curious. Was it posted online? They believe that the suspect wrote this. 180-page manifesto. In Courier? Was it in Courier? Was it in greater than 12-point font? Courier is a is a uh, font that I used when I was in school and I had to write 10 page papers or whatever. I used Courier to make the, because Courier is a big wide font and it fills up pages faster. (laughs) What a shame. I didn't like writing. I was all right at it. I was pretty good at it, I thought. 
Um, it references a theory used by white supremacists and dozens of racist and anti-Semitic memes. How did an 18-year-old get a gun? That's the question, says this, the ladies at the skim. Last year, he threatened to shoot his high school and went, underwent a mental health evaluation. By, he showed up, I, th- I heard, in a hazmat suit to school. Mental health ev- evaluation by state police before being released a couple of days later. Under federal law, the evaluation alone doesn't re- reportedly bar people from owning a gun. It's still unclear whether he agra- acquired the three guns in his possession before or after. Huh? The massacre. What? Before or after the threats. I don't know. I think that's a typo. These ladies not paying attention to what they're writing. Or unless I'm reading it wrong, which is possible. How are the people responding? President Sleepy Joe Biden urged Americans to unite against the hate that he called a stain on the soul of America. Man, that's just a disgusting statement, right? Representative Adam, Adam Kinzinger, who I believe was a... Tea Party guy. He was elected under the Tea Party rage, I think. A total rhino, anti-Trump rhino out of Illinois, who married one of, like, Pence's ladies who worked for Pence. Rhino out of Illinois called out fellow Republicans, accusing them of nodding toward white nationalism. This is the same guy who wanted to root out white supremacy in the Republican Party. What a disgusting person. Some have called out Fox News host Tucker Carlson. Specifically for pushing one of those theories cited in the manifesto. They don't mention this theory because they don't want you to look into it and find out that it's true. That's what my speculation is about the ladies of the skim. Others are renewing their calls on the Biden administration to restart stalled gun control efforts. Oh, yeah, that'll help. Because the only armed man who went up against this guy, according to reports, was the armed security guard who got in a shootout with this guy. But this guy, I guess, was able to kill him. Killed the armed security guard. So one-on-one, he he, uh, was able to get it. But when the cops showed up, he surrendered. No, 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 I want, whites want to live. It's a fact. Whereas blacks tend to be a little bit more reckless and uh, have more of a death wish, it seems like. The far-left female run outlet, The Skim, says we're less than six months into 2022, and the U.S. has already seen at least 198 so-called mass shootings, the majority of which were probably blacks. My guess. But I don't know. Look into it for yourself. This one reminded many of the deadly Charleston church shooting by Dylan Roof that I mentioned. Believed to be one of the deadliest racist massacres in recent U.S. history. And uh, I saw this tweet um, from Arthur Schwartz on Twitter. And he said, this is weird. And he showed this headline that Biden is going to Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, yes. Biden, this is CNN politics headline. Biden will travel to Buffalo on Tuesday following the mass shooting. So tomorrow he'll be over there. By Arnett Sainz. 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 I knew a Sainz. That's cool. But this lady, I don't know. Um, that's, that was reported yesterday. And then flashback, in contrast, Psaki, Jen Psaki, This is November 2021, says Biden has no plans to visit Waukesha, which I used to call Waukesha. It seems right to me. But sorry, Waukesha people. Forgive me, I mean. Waukesha after the deadly Christmas parade attack at this time. Because sending the president to a community requires a lot of assets. (laughs) As Bob Crilly reporting there for Daily Mail. Waukesha, as you may recall, was uh, where there was a Christmas parade with old white ladies and young white girls. And that black dude was all mad because um, another place in Wisconsin, Kenosha, Wisconsin, had uh, tried to go after and smear and slime the great... Kyle Jack Bauer, John Wick Rittenhouse, who innocently shot in self-defense some Antifa supporters, BLM supporters, attackers, trying to take him out, take him down. And he killed three of them, I think. Attackers in self-defense. Kyle Jack Bauer, John Wick Rittenhouse. Just 
young man, upstanding young man, as far as we can tell, right? But, uh... Oh, Matt. Oh, I wonder if uh, my YouTube... Let me see. I wonder that if that's what people were saying about my YouTube thing. Oh, my bad. Oh, that stinks. Uh, let me fix this thing. Terrible. What a shame. Oh, I messed up the YouTube thing, guys. Uh, pardon me while I have this strange interlude. Uh, I was ill-prepared for my YouTube thing. What a mess. Apparently I hadn't selected it properly. Or set up- set it up properly. Thank you for the heads up, Matt living the dream, and everybody else who was saying my YouTube thing is not going. Anyway. I did it wrong. I set it up wrong. What a shame. Anyway, uh, back to the story. Sleazy Joe Biden is not going to show up because he did not show up to Waukesha. Oh, and this is funny. Um, I saw this tweet, and this came out a m- couple months ago, that speaking of this Waukesha attacker, black guy who was, fell for the false Black Lives Matter narrative, you know, half the country w- thought that Kyle Rittenhouse was a bad guy. He's not. At least not in this situation with Kenosha trying to protect his community, right? And yes, it was his community. People tried to say, oh, he came from out of state. It's beside the point, it's still his community. 15 miles away or something like that. (laughs) Anyway, uh, this black guy who was mad that Kyle Rittenhouse got off because he was not guilty. This guy who hated white people. This guy who uh, believed that blacks were under attack because he believed the mainstream media lies. Right? He attacked and ran over whites, but he said, oh, I was just trying to um, get away from police. I wasn't trying to kill anybody, even though he just rumbled over a bunch of people. Worse even than the, uh, than the Charlottesville guy who drove into the crowd trying to get away from Antifa. This guy was trying to get away from the police. Look at this. Uh, Brooks's attorney, Daryl Brooks, I think is the name of the Waukesha attacker from before Christmas, right? According to this breaking brown woman, Yvette Carnell, Brooks's attorney maintained he couldn't turn off the parade route because the side streets were barricaded and full of spectators. Oh, so just plow right through the, uh, plow right through the people who were, uh, marching in the parade. That makes sense. Well, why not just stop your vehicle, evil person? She noted, too, that he, she, being his attorney, noted, too, that he told detectives he didn't mean to kill anyone. So he pleaded not guilty. And that was from February of this year. A few months later, right? Crazy, huh? They're trying to blame Tucker. Maybe I'll get to that in a second. I, uh, need to get to some calls. Let me get to... You want to hear from... Let's hear from Keith in Illinois first. Keith in Illinois is on the line, wants to talk about uh, something going on with the Ukraine mess. What's up, Keith? How are you doing? All right, buddy. How are you doing? Hey, how's the crew? Doing fine. Thank you. It's Monday, and we're having fun. Yeah, yeah. I just want to talk about how, you know, they spend $54 billion in, you know, Ukraine, protect their borders. They want to spend $5 billion, you know, to protect ours to finish the wall. And I also heard that, you know, all these companies are giving Ukraine, you know, the, the CEO of Spirit is giving them bulletproof vests. I'm like, well, you know, our police officers... Giving use, who? Uh, the C- CEO of Spirit? Spirit yeah, Airlines Spirit is giving yeah. the Ukrainians bulletproof vests? Yes. Wow. I mean, yeah, what about our police officers? I, I, people, Good point. Are people not seeing what these companies and how these CEOs and Disney and all these people, how they feel about us and the, the politicians? Wow. It's like, well, why, why do you support, Is it true? you know, companies that, you know, Disney or any any company, Spirit, any company that, that, that uh, you know, that would do this to Americans that, if it wasn't for Americans, you know, they wouldn't have any, you know, big CEO money. They wouldn't have, you know, these, um, you know, these, uh, you know, uh, wealth, you know, that, that Americans have, have allowed them to have. I'm just, I'm just saying, I just think it's really wrong that you would go across the world and help people, you know, like, you know, like that, but you won't even help your own. 
Yeah. Okay, so, uh, New York Slimes, March 30th, Jim Hake, not to be confused, no relation that I know of, of James Hake, the host of this show, Jim Hake, founder and CEO of Spirit of America, now is that Spirit Airlines, is in front of supplies, his organization? I don't know, I don't know, I I can't say for sure, so yeah, that's one I know. Okay, uh, bullet supplies, including bulletproof vests, were donated by Spirit of America, which may not, which may not have anything to do with Spirit Airlines. Yeah, that's they they may not have to do with that. Okay, but whatever company that is, nobody, you know, should support it because you know, like all our officers. I mean, you know, you know, where they bulletproof vests? Why, why aren't these companies donating anything for Americans? You know what I'm saying? Right. And people, you know, I mean, we have, you know. American police officers of all, you know, races, you know, so I don't, I'm not saying how somebody can take out a certain race or anything, but it's like, but when are people going to stand up, man, and protest, or act, you know, do something to show, like, wow, this is really how you feel about America, you know, our children, you know, our elderly, our just people in this country, period. You know, it's like, when is it going to be enough? I guess maybe, and, and never let Netflix, uh, 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 any of them off the hook of uh, Disney, as soon as, you, as soon as they have a little campaign, oh, we're sorry, you know, we're going to change, then people will flock right back. Let these companies go to show the rest of them that you cannot get away with this and then, you know, please, you know, oh, no, we're sorry. People shouldn't let them, once a person show their hand, you shouldn't let them, you know, let them, you know, you should hold them accountable to the end. Yeah. Wow. You know, so I just, I mean, I just, I mean, get, you know, you get kind of sick and tired of it. You yeah. Know, so long. Yeah. I mean, cause I mean, we, we only human, you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> you know, to, and to see this inflation, to see so many things going on in this country and, 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 and hear the lies of, of Joe Biden when he's talking about, you know, bringing people together. He, he, all he does is get on, on TV and cause division and hate. That's all. That's that's his whole campaign. I you know. know yeah, he, he needs to get on TV and lie on the mouth. We need to be. The, that's that's his whole campaign. You, you can go back when he was running for president and, and right now and before. Yeah. And that's all he talks about. You know what I'm saying? Is the, the division of this country? You know, gay, straight, black, white. You know, um, uh, the, 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 uh, immigrants. That's like man. That's all. That's that's his. That's his. You know, his his uh, campaign is just division. Yeah. Um, that's so true. He, he said that his motivation for running for president in 2020 was because of the veins bulging and racist fangs of the white yeah. supremacists in, uh, Charlottesville at the beautiful Unite the, well, it was gonna be beautiful. It was beautiful until Antifa showed up and was allowed to attack the whites. Uh, yeah. Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, uh, Carolina somewhere. <laughs> Charlottesville, Virginia, yeah, not Carolina. Name. I don't know. My I mean, you, you can go back and, you know, when he lied, you yeah. can go back and look at the, the campaign tapes. It ain't like, it ain't like, you know, I guess, you know, the, 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 the people that, the, the, I call them cults because, it, you know, because you can see this man lies 24 7. You can go back and yeah. watch the tape. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like I made up something. I could actually show you what he said these de- devices thinks his whole campaign before he got there and why he's still there. So it ain't like I'm lying. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's why I call it. It's got to be like a cult because if I can show you the evidence and you still back this man, then why you have to be in a cult? Yeah. Know? Yeah, that's true. I just kind of wanted to say that. Like, I'm just getting sick and tired sometimes. Uh, you, know, you know, we pay our taxes. we $30 trillion in debt. We got all this high inflation. We, they just really treat us. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 have anybody ever been treated this bad in, in, in history? Like, you know, they, they, they spend up all our money. They spit in our faces. It's like I've never, you know, seen anything like this before in my life. You know, I, I mean, think that totally people have. America. They are totally against America. They they do everything to make America's life hard, to make them suffer, to make you know, to keep them in hell, to keep them angry, to keep them hot, so nobody can be happy. You know what I'm saying? You know, people are losing money. You can't enjoy nothing. You know, your your 401k going down, your bank account. How how how, how does this just happen like this? <laughs> I think that people have become comfortable slaves because people have oh, okay. been treated badly over history and right now they're right now most most people are spoiled they're still somewhat comfortable and oh. so they just they go along with it or they are at a loss to how to stop it or whatever 
I think that's what's okay, going I like on. The word, I like the words you use, comfortable slaves. I mean, that yeah. makes sense to me. I have, I have Spoiled. seen people be comfortable slaves. They, like, you know, the urban community, you know what I mean? With all right. the crime, yeah. poverty, and uh, with, 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 with all the suffering, all the hell that they, they catch. And they're just comfortable. And I, I agree with you. I mean, I think they do stress out with the drugs, the alcohol, the depression, the anxiety, the high blood pressure, diabetes. I, I think there's a result of it. Right. But you know, I think I think that somehow they are still comfortable in some other ways. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And I just like, you know, and, 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 and um, I don't know, as a warrior, you know, you try to free the people from their oppression. Yeah. And I guess they don't want the responsibility, you know, once they be they are free. And so they just stay in their misery. And you're like, I just, you know, you just, as, as, as a person with any sense, you're like, I just don't understand it. You know, that's, that's, that's all. I just don't understand it. I think that's how most pe- most of the world is. Like, most of the world lives in hell, but it's, they okay. also okay. distract themselves with pleasure. Okay, and different yeah, they things. do. They do. Yeah. They do. They do. And that's why they give everybody a phone. You ever see, everybody got a phone. <laughs> I know, phone huh? Good they point. Phone. I mean, like, like, they could literally be people shooting outside and, People dying in the streets as long as they can get their phone in their hands. <laughs> yeah. They count, okay, you know. Great oh, point. let me listen to some music. Let, let me uh, let me get on and see what they're doing on Facebook. Let me see somebody laugh. Let me see somebody do some funky music. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that, I think that the phone is one of the biggest distractions because, yeah. you know, as long as the bullet ain't in your face and in your head and in your shoulder and in your back, right. you just pick up your phone. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm, Terrible. I'm, 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 I'm glad that you say comfortable slaves and that we can talk about this and kind of like, you know, kind of come up with, you know, maybe some solutions to why people are dealing with it. But, you know, I don't want to keep you too long. I want to thank you and the guys, you know, for right letting on. me speak and doing a good job. You know, I appreciate you guys. And uh, keep up the good work and, uh, you know, God bless all of you. Thank you, Keith. Appreciate you. Take care. All right. What a great call. That's a sensible black man. Am I right? I think he's black. The phones. They were even giving phones to the illegals. Biden phones. Obama phones, really. Is Biden actually aware that he's president? Just a brief report on the Spirit of America. You mentioned Spirit Airlines, but I don't know if you meant to be Spirit Airlines. Spirit of America, a U.S.-based nonprofit company founded by Jim Haig, no relation, raises money for U.S. veterans. But now apparently he's raising money for for Ukraine. Shaking my head. Solicited money for special forces troops operating in Afghanistan. U.S. special forces troops operating there? Oh, yeah, in Afghanistan. First Marine Division in Iraq. Claims funds will help build schools for Iraqi children. Support media outlets that advance counterpoint to news presented by local Arab-run outlets. Launched under the auspices of the Cyber Century Forum, whatever that is. Working with with the U.S. Embassy in Kiev, Ukraine, in 2016, Spirit of America funded the establishment and optimization of Army FM, Ukrainian Ministry of Defense radio station that provides info and entertainment to soldiers defending their country in eastern Ukraine, suffering from a barrage of Russian propaganda, supposedly. In 2010, Mr. Hake, no relation that I know of, I don't know though, Worked to formalize the ties between commanders in Afghanistan and blah, 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 blah. What a mess. Um, Jim is short for James. Jim Hake, James Hake. Hmm. Very interesting. (laughs) Yeah, that's why I put James Anton Hake, because when I searched James Hake, when I first uh, started becoming a little bit more of a quote-unquote public figure, at least going out on the internet with a name. Um, I found out that there was a James Hake who is a ceramic artist or something like that. And so, uh, to avoid the confusion, I use my middle name, James Anton Hake. Has a nice ring to it, right? And no, I was not named after a black. (laughs) Anyway, let me get to... uh, uh, speaking of sensible black callers or other black callers, Tony in California is on the line. How are you doing, Tony? Good morning, sir. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing just swell. Doing just swell. Swell? Uh, swell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where'd you get that word? Great. Well, it's just, it's just a word that I came up with, meaning I'm doing great. You've came up with the word swell? Yes. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, so the reason I'm calling is because <laughs> the things y'all speak on and the hatred y'all speak is showing up in America again and again and again. And yeah, again. we point out hatred and it shows up again yeah, and again. Do. We point because out that we point to... out hatred shared by you. Okay, but the thing is, sir, <laughs> I'm not going around killing a certain group of people. Oh, yes, I'm you are. I'm not going around talking about a certain group of people. Yes, you do. Because we all are the same here in America. No, we are not. And you you don't even think that whites are human. No, you the one don't think blacks are human. No, I never said that blacks are not human. You, I well, say that blacks are human. Do, you both do every day. No, you, you said that you, whites you are not human. To believe are that. whites human, Tony? If you if you breathing, walking, productive human being, yes. No, no. Human. How about if whites are not uh, productive? They're are they? Human. Are you human? They're still human. They came from No, God. hold on, hold God on, Tony, Toby, the same. I'm calling him Toby. <laughs> The same guy who said, let's both stand in the sun for two hours and see who handles it better. Because you ain't human. Okay. You accuse me of not being human. You tried to imply or hint that I'm not human. I said that because it was 80 degrees out there, you had everything covered, head to toe. (laughs) You said that because you think that white people are not human. You think that blacks are better than whites? In some aspects, yes. And whites are better than blacks in some aspects. What, are, what aspects are those? We are human beings. You go to the restaurant. What, aspects, like what aspects are whites better than blacks? What, else, what, what aspects? Yeah, and what aspects are whites better cold. than blacks? Going out in the cold weather, buck naked, and jumping in a frozen river. Okay. That's the only aspect, or is there more than one? <laughs> I mean, that's the only, uh, uh, skin. I just skin in some, in some sense, skin. White skin is better than black skin in some senses? No, I said skin. I just skiing. Skiing. But whites yes, are better than skin. at skiing? Skin. Anything dealing with the cold weather, we give you, we give you your props on that. <laughs> all right. Okay. And something, not all, not all something. We, we dominated. He said cold buck, weather. buck naked, not the other word. People, we we can deal with some of us can deal with the cold weather and dominate too. Some of you black people, yes, nice. Yes. But the thing is, once again, we all the same because if you go to the bathroom, I go to the bathroom. It's gross. all the same, my friend. That's gross. No, it's true. It might be gross, but it's true. If I, you cut your skin, it I might be true, skin, but it's gross. <laughs> all right. Uh, so the thing is, y'all need to. You ingest it. When I asked you directly, you how come you didn't? How come you didn't say that whites are human? Because what you mean? I didn't say that. I've been saying that. I said no, no, no. Because I have asked, asked you before. Are you I'm saying whites are not human? And then you don't mm-hmm. answer, give me a direct answer. Very in dodgy. Some, in your actors, no, you don't pretend. You don't act like humans. You act like barbarians. <laughs> are, are barbarians humans? They they are human. But you are some type of fun substance that you think you're better than everyone else. You're not. You're not. No, that's you, man. You think you're better. No, that's no, why you think that we think that we're better. But we don't think that we're better. Yes, you do. In what way? Because you say, this is your country. This ain't your country. Yes, it country. is. That's <laughs> just a fact. <laughs> this ain't your country. Who's, who's who started? Tony. 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 Who started the United States of America? Who started it? Yeah, who started it? The blacks, Indians, and the Mexicans. That's who started it. <laughs> the blacks, Indians, because and Mexicans started the United they States of America. When you said y'all discover it, you can't discover something that somebody already here. No, no, no. I asked you who started the the United States of America. Um, once again, once again. So you're saying you're showing me that you hate white people no, because you can't in, no, you can't I give hate, credit where credit is do you due. From that? You only like to credit whites for skiing and cold weather activities. You can't, you can't credit whites for starting the United States of America. How do you have you to say that it was everybody but well, how, the whites. Tell me how, you started this, how, you said. <laughs> how do you say it's everybody but the whites? What sense does that make? I want to 
no, t- tell me how the white people started the United States by themselves. The un- the uh, Declaration of Independence, and they didn't say I didn't say by themselves. I said who started it. The Declaration wait, of wait, Independence, wait, wait, whites. Wait, you say wait, a minute. you say who started it? Once yeah. Again. If you started it, that means you started it by yourself. That doesn't mean they started it by yourself. It means you started it. Okay, so how do you, if I go and start a car, who started it? Me or you? You. Okay, who started, so who started, started the United, I'll give you another try, Tony, Toby. Okay, who started the United States of America? Me, Why are you disrespecting my name? Because your name is disrespectable. When you start losing, you start getting crazy. See, that's okay. how white people are. Okay, if Toby. All right, Toby. All right, Toby. All right, Toby. Just credit somebody. Toby. <laughs> okay. Your Who, mama. How about that? Fine. Who started okay, the United you. States of America? <laughs> um, the people that was here. In Indian, Were they whites? The black, and the Mexicans started America. Wow, you're a joke. No, that's the truth. That's, that's not the, the truth, truth brother. That's not the truth, brother. It is the truth. No, it isn't. Anyway. You came here You came here and invaded America. How about that? The United States. You uh, no, I didn't. And you conquered it, and you stole, and you raped it. <clears throat> How about that? We, we don't, you can't rape a piece of land. You, can rape you might try. You land. might try to find a way, but we never did that. Well, you raped the people who was in the land. No. Yes. No. Yes. Don't tell that lie. <laughs> No, you you said it right uh, when you said conquered. We might have conquered some of the people. And when you conquered some, you and we also and bought stole. some of the land too. Did you know that we bought some of the land? You bought it from who? Who you bought it from? Various people: the French, uh, the Spanish. The French. Wait a minute, the French. Yep. Who you? Wait a minute. How about the people that was already here owning the land? We might have. They, they didn't own the land, buddy. Everything. They did what not own them? the land. They were nomads. Oh, they were what? They were nomads. There you go with that name calling. Dude, no, that's not a name calling. They're, nomad means they're wanderers. They don't, they, they did not own the land. They were and living here, bro. So? There that's the way of the world. White evilness. That's the evil in you, so? Uh, is it so evil? Tony, 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 so? Tony. Is yes. it evil that whites are losing their country? You're not losing nothing. You're losing your, you're losing your power. Ain't your country, your power. So is that evil? Losing. And y'all are upset about the Is that power evil? That, the power struggle. Tony, that Tony. White supremacist Tony. Power struggle. You are losing Tony, that. stop That's preaching. You lose, stop friend. preaching, black female. Is it evil what, that whites are losing their country? You're losing your power. Ain't your country. Is it, no is it evil? Man, who gave you God? I'm going to hang up on you if you don't answer my question, whether it's evil or not. Is it evil? No, it's not. All right. No, See? It's not. See, you hate this white people. Godland. You that's hate godly. white people. That's, that's you're white jealous man. of them. You're excited when they. You're excited when they lose. You're excited when some white does something I think, wrong. I think you're jealous of the people that's coming into this country and, and establishing a good life for themselves. That's what I think you're jealous of. All right. Um, Asmador has a super chat. Nothing. Oh, here we go. How you doing, Mr. Avador? What is his name? Avador. A z z m a d o r. A Z Z M A D O R as Mador. Okay, Avatar or so whatever the heck it is. Why are you disrespecting his name? That's like you disrespecting mine. Hey, so, we'll do, so whatever I do is what okay for you to do it too? That's a biblical question. Is it wrong for me to disrespect your name? For what reason would you want to do that? Is it wrong? Do you hate me? Do you hate me? Is it wrong for me to disrespect your name? Yes, because you must So hate then how me. come you're disrespecting I- Asmador's name? Well, I, I, like I said, put this in a biblical question. What goes around comes back around. Oh, okay. So it's not evil when it happens to whites. It's only evil when whites do it. All right. <laughs> Asmodore states, nothing wrong with conquering. Conquest is based and is the ultimate proof of ownership. Only feminine-minded beta males cry about conquest. In your face, beta male, feminine-minded, Toby. Well, once again, <laughs> when, 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 you, when you conquer I gotta someone, go. but you got to... Wait a minute, but you got to kill somebody to conquer it. Tell me the God in you. That's all I got to say. Did God make, God did, you. G- did God have people kill? He had plenty of people kill. Yeah. Thank you. For the right reason, though. Yeah. To follow, to, to, to make his will be a, upon this earth. Manifest destiny. Will. Ever heard That's of it? Re- 
and that's the reason you suffering now. Was it was it God's will? Babies. Was it God's and will? That, hold on, Tony. Was it God's will that the whites took over America? I don't know. I don't know. That was the devil. That was the <laughs> devil. There. But right. so where did God keep the devil to? The earth, where the white man is. Look at that. Though. All right, Tony. Look that up. Nice talking with have you, man. You too. Have a good day, Father. What do you say? Have a good day, what? I said, have a good day, fathers. Fathers? Yeah, fathers. You think y'all, y'all think y'all own everything, so I'm gonna call you father. Okay, all right. Who's your daddy? <laughs> Thank you, Tony. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Adios. Um, quick super chat. Quick couple of super chats here. Thank you, Asmador, for the super chat there. Uh, Mad Dog Mattis is on the board of the advisors of Spirit of America. Go figure. That's from Big Bump. Wow. Very interesting. Got a super chat from Based America First over there on Streamlabs.com slash The Hake Report. Judicial Watch found Pelosi spent $100,000 on food slash booze, which is alcohol, over a two-year period. $100,000. Now Pelosi has alcohol on-demand service in the house that requires ID. ID for septuagenarians, (laughs) meaning people in their 70s. I think she's in her 80s. To get drunk. But not to vote? Clearly disenfranchising black alcoholics. Wow. Man. I did not know about this. John WX25 states, I can guarantee you, Tony's ancestors are disgusted with his ungratefulness for what they went through for his sorry rear. Yeah. Animus says, my name is Kunta. Kunta Kinta. Your name is Toby. Shout out to Toby. Yeah. Thank you, Animus. Who also says, Tony talks about how evil it is to kill, but in his heart, he is a murderer. He sees whites worthy of mass extinction. What goes around comes around, brother. Uh, And he gets high from it. What a loser. Loser. Yeah, thank you, guys. Appreciate that, Animus. John WX25. Based America First. And Asmodor over there on Odyssey. And uh, Big Bump. Crazy stuff. Um, Let me read a a little bit more, because they're trying to go after Tucker Carlson. The best man in the world. The person who's, like, pushing for decency and love for everybody, right? He's, like, on media. The best man on media. Jesse Singal, S-I-N-G-A-L. He tweeted this New York Slimes, failing New York Slimes article about replacement theory. A fringe belief fueled online, refashioned by the GOP. And it was an article put out May 15th, that's just yesterday, by Nicholas Confessor and Karen Eurish, whatever that is. A Times investigation published this month showed that in more than 400 episodes of his show, Mr. Carlson has amplified the notion that Democrat politicians and other assorted elites, including rhinos, want to force demographic change through immigration. Duh! And they, you know, the, um, Kennedy lied about it, right? One of the Kennedys, didn't he lie about it? Not John F. Kennedy, but another Kennedy, like Robert or something. He said, because he was one of the people who was pushing this Hart Sellers Act in 1965, the Immigration Act, that's, he said, Oh, the immigration policy is racist, but this is not going to change the demographics of the country drastically. And in sure, it in truth, it has. Asians taking over, Hispanics coming in like crazy. Whites on decline, blacks on decline, although there are other factors too. Rich over there on Facebook says, dude, can you get off Tucker Carlson's lap? No! Angela says, Tucker Carlson is funny. Shout out to the Facebook crew. The demographics have been changing since the 1940s. Hmm. Yeah, maybe they, uh, since, not since the 65, huh? Not, it didn't explo- start exploding after 1965. Um, yeah, we, I think that we had an immigration moratorium after the 20s, right? Something like that. Would be nice to get back to that. But uh, Jesse Singal also tweeted this. In response to somebody, he said, I know reading articles is hard. And he quote tweets uh, someone who mockingly wrote, 
the notion that Democrat politicians and other assorted elites want to force demographic change. The notion. And he shared a screenshot, this, this troll, this right-wing troll, shared a screenshot of a Mc, Michelle Goldberg, Goldberg op-ed headlined, We Can Replace Them. In Georgia, a chance to rebuke white nationalism from October of 2018, right? And Jesse Singal said, I know reading articles is hard, but Goldberg explains exactly what she means at the end. In a week, American voters can do what ni- white nationalists feared most. Show them that they're being replaced. He just proved his own, he just de- proved his own, uh, point that he tried to debunk. We can replace them in Georgia, a chance to rebuke white nationalism. Do you think Michelle Goldberg is calling for illegal immigrants to be smuggled into the country as part of a plot to make America less white? Yes. Yes. Among other things, right? And also that's a straw man, a scarecrow argument. Yes, probably not a Christian, by the way. So, yeah, uh, By the way, Tucker said that it's voter suppression to be trucking in all these people coming into the country, having them having the anger babies be considered so-called Americans, which Obama was for that, by the way. He wanted to pass DAPA. He wanted to do an executive order called DAPA. I'm not not to be confused with DACA, Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, also Deferred Action for Parents of Americans. That's what DAPA was, but it got struck down. Parents of Americans, meaning parents of anchor babies, illegals who brought their uh, pregnant women in and then uh, had the babies, among other things, right? And yes, they've had the mass so-called legal immigration and mass refugee resettlement. Check out Refugee Resettlement Watch for uh, some of the truth of what's going on. WordPress suppressed RefugeeResettlementWatch.com, I think. I think they've censored the whole website. It had been a blog for years by Anna, I'm blanking on her name, but Refugee Resettlement Watch. Anne Corcoran, A-N-N Corcoran, doing the Lord's work. Now it's RefugeeResettlementWatch.org. She's been on the J.C. Lee Peterson show a couple of times, at least a couple of times. Shout out to Caroline in New York for the tip. But, uh, yeah, in many ways, they are trying to go after and replace the whites because the whites don't support this stupid agenda as much. They're the one, only ones, especially the men, who by and large in the Christians, conservative, real, real Christians, right? The, so, the hated evangelicals who don't support, who don't fall for these lies as easily. They fall for other lies, maybe, but they don't fall in line with the, uh, the liberal agenda. What a mess. So Tucker's right. Uh, Let me get to William in California. William, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. How was your weekend, James? It was nice. Hung out. (laughs) Excuse me. Good. Yeah. Good. I was uh, uh, looking at what happened this weekend, and uh, it is absolutely a shame. the blacks are actually celebrating this. Yeah. It's like, you're sick. Now, the worst thing that happened in this thing was um, 35 years old was the, old was the youngest person in this thing that died. Oh, okay. Most of the other ones were like close to 80, wow. 75. And if you look at the list, you'll see they're all really older people. Okay. And more than likely not raised with this woke madness right i think that's about the saddest thing about it and the, and the other sad part about it is you guys are actually celebrating this they are so happy but uh, i don't yeah. like promoting but i can tell you this the black lives matter you mean black lives don't matter and right the white man takes it yep because i sent nick out of 10 days at least 15 violent gun incidents with black people. Yeah. They killed, and some of them actually bailed out of jail. Wow. But the icing on the cake, what if this guy bails out? 
he ain't going to bail out, but right. you guys are sick with this. You're like celebrating. You're not sad. You're not compassionate. Yeah. You just, you're celebrating. Emotions are deceiving. You feel like yeah. you care about the, you think right. about the, the, you imagine the lives of the people who lost their lives and the families and you get into your emotions and you think you care and you think you're a loving person. But that's such oh, a deception. Had a gun. He had a gun would say kill black people. But you know what? I said this to a friend of mine a year ago. I said, watch and see one of these white folks get sick of this madness and come along and do his thing. And right. it happened. So he came from across this. He came from other. He came from another place all the way here to get us. And yeah, you know, yeah, he did. And uh, Tony, are you trying to say it rains in California? You better listen to Tony, 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 because I'm gonna tell you something, Tony. One thing you did say that was correct: conquer. Before the white man came here, they wasn't doing anything with America. Yeah. So he goes to Mexicans and the Indians. Well, what happened to them? They got, they got their butts kicked. Yeah. And they took it and they started America. The only blacks that had anything to do with starting America is the ones that was on that boat going across that, that river out there in Washington, D.C. that was on that boat with George Washington. They helped. Yeah. But you didn't. Shout out to Asmodore. Excuse Tony for disrespecting your name. You are our historian. <laughs> nice. And I haven't. We haven't heard from a. Uh, he was a pretty decent guy, Tony. And oh, no, no, no. John was it John, uh, in in Phoenix? Joe from Phoenix, Arizona. You're talking oh, about he's Joe. Doing all right. He seems to be. I don't agree with him 100 percent on things, but you know what? No need to attack the next man. He seems like a decent guy. I haven't heard from him in a while. And Artie, Art, we need to hear from you. <laughs> and. Uh, Shout out to all the Patriots, but uh, you better stop and look at what this really was. I knew somebody was going to come along and get sick of you guys because he, you're getting bailed out of jail for killing other blacks. Yeah. And I don't hear anything about it. I've sent Nick, we just was talking about it. He said, you've sent like 15 stories of black people killing black people and they didn't say anything. Right. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you, you, you can't comment on any news feed here on the West Coast. You look at the news, how you can comment on, on these stories. I know. You can't comment. You yeah. cannot comment on anything. For years now, they've gotten rid of comment sections in news reports. And if you the say something news, too yeah. true, then they uh, censor you. They ban you from commenting, too. Those yeah, of you they who... went from that to just having no comments at all. Right. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I sent some of these stories. There right were so on, many. Man. You couldn't cover all of them. There I know. There were so many. Yeah. There were so many. So that was strategic, but I'm going to go ahead and that, – that was tactical bomb. I'm going to go ahead and give you a strategic carpet bomb. Uh, your killers that kill other black people get bailed out. Got anything to say about that? Yeah. And I don't need anybody attacking no other callers. Nice. And, and, and just stop. Get, get away from that because the blood is in the water. We're chewing on you. We knew you were going to be calling this morning celebrating this madness. Yeah. But uh, what you got to say about the bodies that's laying on the ground in Chicago every day. Right. Well, thank every you, William. Day. I appreciate you, too. Take care. All right, man. All right. We are at five minutes till the uh, the top of the hour. Um, let me just go through and make sure that I've... You know what? I would like to show you just some pictures, a few pictures of this guy... Who the suspect of this shooting? I don't know. There's there's a lot of mess going on. But I looked at New York Post. You see, if I'm looking at this family picture, this fam, and this is him as a kid, this alleged shooter. I don't know, right? Uh, with his parents, purported parents, and two little brothers, and he's looking all depressed. He's like leaning against his dad, all bored or something like that. He was described as a shy kid, according to neighbors. Um, again, he, the year before, when he was in high school, Peyton Gendron is the name of this guy. This uh, guy who allegedly shot up the grocery store in Buffalo. 
He was he wore a hazmat scoot, suit to school and he was hospitalized after threatening classmates He'd been wanting to fantasizing about doing a mass shooting Which you know that's that's called media. What is that like? It's called copycat crime, but it's also like a like a media contagion or something along those lines when people you know the media shows it it's glorified and it, Satan talks to them and tells them, hey, you should do that too, you'll get famous. Or, you know, women, it's a media contagion to do the Me Too thing. Or that even the media contagion of, like, hearing about abortion. Remember that caller who called into my show a couple weeks back? I think less than two weeks ago. Because Roe v. Wade got into the headlines and she started resenting her husband all over again for something he did way back in his past. Because his liberal mother paid for his, allegedly, for his high school girlfriend to get an abortion. Because he got a, his girlfriend pregnant out of wedlock. And she's, like, st- judging him to this day for something that happened before she even knew him. That's it's called a media contagion. It feeds Satan. To this day. And these people are, do not mean what's right, right? I show this stuff, and maybe it's ill-advised, some of the stuff that I show. Maybe I shouldn't be showing some of the things that I show or talk about it, but I try to keep it family friendly. And I, I know you guys appreciate it, but it's uh, it's evil. Media has ill, evil intentions. They like to spread misery, you know, with the virus, the China virus. They like to spread the fear and the and the um, the uh, misery and the stress that they can't handle. Same with what I said about the females who work in the hospital industry. And it is an industry. They feel overwhelmed and stressed too much, so they get go to the media with their stress. And the media passes that stress, the female-minded media, passes that stress upon the Americans who are suckers, right? Many of them. Especially the women. And the female-minded males. Look at this, these pictures of their homes. Like, look at what the trouble that this guy allegedly brought on his family. Now there's the FBI, the feds going and... Searching his house. How invasive. Crazy, huh? Like, they're going, I'm looking at pictures of this guy's beautiful house. And the feds are, the FBI, including there's a female FBI. Get out, get her out of there. (laughs) Uh, FBI, a bunch of liberals many, much of the time, you know? Look at the head of the FBI who was under Trump or before Trump. This James Comey guy. Total rhino, his parents, I mean his parents, his wife and daughters went to the me, not the me too, the pink hat, pink cat hat, but not cat, really a female body part, right, to represent abortion, the the so-called right to abortion. That's the Republican head of the FBI. But these guys are searching through the home. What a mess. This guy is only 18 years old, if he, if he did what they said that he, that he did. And whatever his intentions were. Crazy, huh? Look at that. The trouble. wonder if he thought that it occurred to him that that would happen. <laughs> uh, the mind of an 18-year-old. Um, allegedly. Um, yeah, and then I'm just looking at some other family pictures. The pictures of the... There's a big old vigil. And I see a bunch of white people at this vigil. Outside of the Tops supermarket where this thing happened. A vigil held for the victims of the shooting the next day, the next afternoon or evening, right? Right? I cracked. I'm growing. Look, I see a, I mean, I see a lot of blacks too, but I see a whole lot of white people. A whole lot of honkies over there. <laughs> Is it bad to say honkies? Sorry, guys. Sorry, kids. Sorry, uh, people who like censorship. Not sorry, but, oh my gosh, I see a, I spotted a woman in the crowd with a mask. Well, I mean, that's nice. She looks like she might be on the older side, a little bit overweight. I guess it's fine to, maybe it protects herself a little bit. Or maybe she wants to protect other people. But yeah, Waukesha was trending on Twitter, guys. Um, before I get back to calls, hang tight, callers. I'll get to a first-time caller, John, in Atlanta after the break here. But we are at the top of the hour. I think I'm pretty much done unless you want to talk about it, this uh, thing. 
or your read your super chats and things about this uh, Buffalo shooting. I want to talk about Roe v. Wade and uh, transgender kids and wolves in sheep's clothing who are pretending to be for what's right, but they're not. But it is time for some music. Uh, this is Justin Volmar. Volmar? Volmar? Something that I came across when I was into, really into music. And, uh, this is from the, the 2002 album, Every Place is Home. Hope you enjoy it, you musical Philistines. Let me play two songs, just one after the another. Um, the first track is entitled, The Light Was Awfully Fast. And the second track is called Grey Hearts, and they spelled it the British way, or he spelled it the British way, G-R-E-Y. I think it's the proper, pr- the proper spelling of grey is G-R-A-Y, okay, if you're American. But this guy is Justin Volmar, I think he's American. This is on Blue Sanct Recording Corporation. They're the ones who put that out. Enjoy Justin Volmar, and I'll be right back. For hour two, hang tight, colors. I think you might enjoy it. It's chill. Calm you down. And I think he's a Christian, too. All right, guys, be right back. Awfully fast Off our shoulders and our backs And we were blinded as it passed In the dark we cried Where has my time been taken? Who is the one who stole it? In the darkness without sin It's pointless when we stick around I'd love to learn to rest Isn't this cool, guys? Is this Eminem? Asks Daniel Griff. You mean the rapper? I bet this dude is not morally straight, says Bark Bark. Oh, come on, man. Giving me Luca vibes. Just kidding. It sounds decent. Thank you, Tyler. (laughs) 
And here's track two, guys. Ropeless bungee jumping music. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Nugget Man. <laughs> uh, Justin Bowman. Put you to sleep faster than watching watching golf. Turn gray and let it pass by now. Turn gray and never ask why. So cool. Found a home and found a car. It took a while, but it wasn't hard. Hard things were never much to do. You're trolling big time, Hake. <laughs> Light crusher. Thank you. Says one thing I think I've learned. We're all looking for a special turn. When all we need is a simple little truth. Isn't this nice? I like it. Better than frog eyes. Gray skies are such a perfect thing you see. Gray skies make it easy to be free. Gray skies let you have another dream. Oh, please, won't you tell me you agree? Now that's a melody. Tell me you agree. Makes me miss frog eyes. <laughs> Sounds like Been we. Drive for such a long time. Better than a knee in the private area. <laughs> Turn gray and let it pass by now. Turn gray and never ask why. So good. Sort of annoying, says Doom Jesus. Well, I appreciate you guys bearing with me through that, uh, it's not from Absolutely Kosher Records, so that's a plus. Ah, oh, come on. Absolutely Kosher was excellent records. Uh, they got frog eyes, they had... Other people? Okay, maybe? I forget. Um, well, thank you guys. I appreciate you bearing with me through that beautiful music. Um, as Midor says, shout out to me. Yeah, because he got shout out to. Uh, quick, quick last super chat from Animus. He asks, do you like the band Ramstein? Do. Do has. I learned about Ramstein when I was like a senior in high school, I think. A classmate showed me the do do hast, which means I hate you, according to her. And I asked my friend, my buddy, about it, my fellow music fan. He's a mean old sellout band. <laughs> but I liked what I heard. I don't know. It, they were cool, I guess. The, co the album cover of that was kind of disturbing. They had like these contraptions holding their eyes open and different things like that. But, yeah, I think that's... Is that a German band? German kind of, like, hard music band? Something like that? I liked what I heard. I don't... I don't remember it much. But thank you for the question, Animus. I only listen to Christian music. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. All right. Uh, I love Manstein, Ramstein, says Serial Killer. I hate their politics, though. Oh, yeah, don't tell me. All musicians are liberals. Um, rappers are not musicians, so most, mus most rappers are liberals, but not all. Shout out to Big Bump and Joel Friday. <laughs> uh, man, anyway, it is 10 after the hour. I got to get to, I have to get to John, a first-time caller in Atlanta, Georgia. John. Thank you for holding. What's hey, you're breaking up How there. How are you today? Doing well. How, How about are you? you? Today, hey? Doing well, myself. Nice. I was, I was just calling to uh, tell you, you know, good job at, you know, doing what you do. I, I, I just found your show. It was recommended to me on YouTube, which I always watch old Jesse. Nice. And... So I always hear about you, and he's always telling me to find the Hank report, but 
I guess I wasn't really uh, looking for you very hard. I know how that um, is. No worries, man. So are you from Atlanta, Georgia, or for you, are you from somewhere else? Like an hour south, but... Uh, okay. Uh, I, I go uh, down around where Jesse grew up all the time, so he was me, me, and Momo. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> but, you do? Yeah, yeah, I'm about an hour south of Atlanta, and uh, and and just just. How'd you find Jesse? And, um, I'm really not sure. Um, you know, maybe he was recommended to me a bunch of years back or something. Okay, uh, and it was probably you know there could be a chance it could have been to get a job thing or something like that. True. Uh, Shout out to get I'm a job. Always, uh, I've always liked this thing after after a while it it does get kind of repetitive. Yeah, um, it does get repetitive especially if especially if you're not really getting it. And I can I can totally relate to that. You have to if you are getting it then it sounds fresh. Cuz I've heard him say stuff over and over again and and when I'm paying attention I find that it does sound fresh. Like I've heard him say very similar speeches over and over again. Yeah. And uh, it has life to it, though. But I can understand. I'm with you there. Yeah. It's kind of like a Trump and, rally. When Trump speaks from the heart, it's fresh, and it's, you can listen to it. Even if he says the same thing over and over again, he's, he's saying it with some, who, there's some life to it. Who, who are y'all going to root for if Trump doesn't go for 2024? Uh, I don't know. I I'll have to yeah. wait and see. I I do like DeSantis. What I've what little I I like much of what I've seen from DeSantis. Not everything, but I have no I'm idea. To, I'll wait and see. I got. You. Well, that's uh, that's where some of my I'm a little bit of an anti-voter. Um, it, even though I I did drive a van for two months hauling people to go vote. Which this was in a local election, I was having problems with the local sheriff, and so I had to straighten some things out. And, how, uh, how old are you? Uh, Thirty-five. How long have you been kind of anti-voter? You called Jesse's show last week, or yeah. did, or did you? Not? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Yeah, that was, uh, you know. And he had a dis- uh, he had a, he disagreed with you a little bit, right? A little bit. I mean, uh, that's. I re- you know, I remember I. Vaguely remember the call. I don't remember specifics, but yeah, I do remember that you're kind of basically sick of it, and you didn't think that any government should exist. Almost something like that. Uh, Yeah, I mean, uh, I would like somebody to you know keep a standard of what we're going to measure. You know, far as like a pound being a pound and a gallon being a gallon. But besides the rest, by that, by that, explain what you mean there. Uh, if 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 a if a underlining body and it could be even under underwriters laboratory it could be any sort of private organization and and they they have a standard and a way to measure out what you would call one pound of or one gallon no no of, no I I know which I get them but that's a metaphor for something else what do you what do you what do you mean by you because it sounds like a uh, Sounds like a biblical phrase, actually. You want, you want, you want honesty and consistency. Is that what you're saying from uh, the people yeah, who not, are? I'm not have against having leadership, having having legal courts and stuff, but uh, I am against finding saviors in government. Yeah, uh, I am a, I am against uh, people raising their children to be a part of the military. You know, if these folks would quit showing up to fight, they'd get along. It's kind of like the Hatfields and McCoys until you got politics in them. Then people used to breed together and have families and and community and and did business with each other. No, um, man, I th- it, I think that I think that murder has been with us since uh, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel, yeah, yeah. I th- well, I don't I mean, think you can blame uh, it just on politics and media and stuff like that. It's yeah, the evil of the heart. Seem to have a well. Uh, you do run into a lot more of where people are secluded, like in mountainous regions, like say mountainous Mexico, where there's still cartel style stuff. But in coastal areas, you just end up with these massive governments that control everything, and yeah. and it's 
it, it just gets too ridiculous to yeah, me. I agree. Uh, in which, in my personal life, uh, they don't really control too much. I mean, I, I hide away from it all, but do you uh, have a do you have a family yourself? You don't have to say oh, you yeah, don't have man. to answer yeah, that if you man. don't want. But do you have a family yeah. yourself? Children, wife, kids, all that sort of stuff. You do? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do good for myself. No nice. troubles there. I have no worries in the world as far as all that. It does um, the like the government complaint. Hell, that that started. Back, you know, when I was probably like five years old or something, I opened up my first uh, store when I was four or five years old. And, nice. you know, it lemonade was stand or what? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was selling uh, green beans and, you know, it wasn't selling propane, but it was selling green beans and, and snap beans and okra and stuff. And, um, okay. you know, by the end of the day, 13 agencies had me shut down. And, um, <laughs> you serious? And so I figured out, you know, oh, well, you can only do it on weekends when the government's not at work. You know, that's why Saturday is so good is because the government's closed. Interesting. And so everybody can go sell in their front yard. Everybody can sell rugs in, in front of the gas station. People can do what they want to because the government's closed. It's a great day. You know, um, but the rest of the days are open, and so everything sucks. Stinks. Sorry, I, kids. I just, <laughs> I just never have met any, like, every time I've ever been locked up or something, the only people that I've ever found that wanted me locked up were the ones that had the power to lock me up. Oh, Nobody that not, to rehash, ever... not to rehash bad stuff, but you, didn't you say on Jesse's show, I hate to I'm repeat on paper. it. What's that? I'm on paper. Yeah, which is a euphemism for felony. you caught a felony weapons charge for some reason. Yeah. 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 And uh, so you're so anti. It's Georgia. good that you're anti voting because you're probably not allowed to vote. Although in Georgia, they probably want felons to vote. So maybe you can so vote. It's, uh, <laughs> so in Georgia, you, it's a uh, um, five year minimum and this, that, and another. It's all these minimum sentences. The judge was. A uh, customer of mine, he's a great friend. He didn't want to do it. Tried to, yeah. you know, whoop de whoop. They expunge it right off. You, I can go right back to voting if I wanted to, all that sort of stuff. Um, it, it's it's no problem. I just don't care to even get it off my record. It doesn't make any difference to me. Okay. Um, that was all cleared up years ago. And Nice. I, I, I don't use my record. I've never used my credit. I've never used all, all my loans. I managed to get up to $1.6 million in debt, and it's all private <laughs> from, you know, just random people you met. And I didn't know these people two days before I met them. Um, you know, it's kind of like the saying, you lay with dogs, you get fleas. Well, quit laying with dogs and start riding horses. Okay. Um, well, man, it's great yeah. to hear from you, John, in Atlanta, Georgia. Appreciate it. Call me again sometime. Yeah. Appreciate it. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. You too. All right. Um, you can call in 888-775-3773. That is 888-775-3773. John over there mentioned get a job. Shout out to get a job. That is how many people find JLP. He gets he puts out Jesse Lee Peterson savage moments on YouTube. Compilations of uh, great moments from JLP. That's cool. You know, let me talk about this uh, attack on the babies. I mentioned in Hake News that the far-left female run outlet The Skim was promoting these protests on Saturday. Tens of thousands of demonstrators, and there were some decent people out there counter-protesting. In cities like L.A., New York City, Washington, D.C., just the worst cities in America. The most liberal, just evil. Some very carnal things happen in those cities. And all over America, really. They took to the streets to show their support for abortion rights, which don't exist. The rallies were organized by Planned Parenthood and other organizations. Planned Parenthood, you ain't no good! Shout out to Lust Control, which I played last week. 1992 album, We Are Not Ashamed. Getting It Right the Second Time, re-released in 2006. 
They were in response to that leaked draft decision by Justice Alito, Samuel Alito, that he wrote. It's the first draft, right, from the Supreme Court to supposedly, supposedly to overturn Roe v. Wade. We'll see what happens. Expected to be announced by July. But, you know, Congress is, Congress could, I think, I hear, quite easily pass a, a law that makes Roe v. Wade into a law because it was never really a law. It was never a law. Roe v. Wade was never a law. It was a 50-year decision slash precedent that in part had already been overturned by Casey versus Planned Parenthood or Planned Parenthood of Southwestern or something like that, PA versus Casey, which had already overturned part of Roe v. Wade and replaced it with something even worse, maybe. Not sure. They talked about fetal viability as if that's, a, as if that's in the Constitution. So dumb. The phony justices legislating from the bench with their fake versions of laws, right? Legalized... Uh, Legalized uh, killing babies, right? A woman's right to privacy. Meanwhile, some of the world's most famous musicians signed on to an ad condemning, including Ariana Grande, that evil woman who looks like a 13-year-old little sick person who leaves behind a trail of dead, including Mac Miller, uh, that guy who's now with Kim Kardashian, tried to kill himself. Pete Davidson, whose dad died in 9-11. He was a fireman. Miley Cyrus, the disgusting uh, stick of a woman. Looks like a stick. And she uh, used to be a country singer. Son, daughter, I almost said son. <laughs> daughter of that other guy who's like, don't tell my heart, my anky breaky heart. Billie Eilish, Eilish? Another evil woman. Uh, Olivia Rodrigo, Megan the Stallion. They sign a letter condemning. Oh, yeah, like they're in a place to condemn anybody. The Supreme Court's possible Roe v. Wade attention uh, overturn. We will not go back, and we will not back down. Reads a full-page New York Times ad. Billie Irish, Eilish, is that that 17-year-old woman who was 17 when she was making, making awards, and she sings like this lilting... Justin Volmar sings better than her. <laughs> Shout out to Justin Volmar. Maybe he would support them, I don't know. I think he's a Christian, though. Is she that woman who's like this lilting voice and she's 17? Or was, now she's like 19 or 21. Our power to plan our own futures and control our own bodies depends on our ability to access sexual and reproductive so-called health care, including abortion. <laughs> Nick says, Billy Eyelash. Yeah, Women's March is what the liberal rhino anti-Trump FBI head uh, James Comey, his wife and daughters went. Talk about a male not in charge of his family. Among other signees are Demi Lovato and Angel Olsen, whatever. Phoebe Bridgers. Do I even want to re- read all these names? Haley Bieber. What? Haley Bieber? Is that Justin's, is that Justin Bieber's wife who's the daughter of the, con- is she the daughter of the conservative Alec Baldwin? The, con- the conservative Alec Baldwin. The conservative brother of Alec Baldwin? I don't know. Camila Mendez, I don't know that name, really. Uh, to read through them and then mention the ones that I recognize. Noah Cyrus, whoever that is. Um, King Princess, what a name. Lil Dicky, uh, Carly Kloss, Kendall Jenner, Paramore, and more. Bans off our bodies, day of action. The ad ran before that. The national bans off our bodies, day of action on Saturday, May 14th. Hundreds of thousands were expected to rally and march across the nation in support of abortion rights, which don't exist. Bansoff.org. I bet you you would find some non-Christians supporting that mess. Sick stuff, huh? So sick. Uh, Anyway... Here's some good news. Well, it's kind of good news. It's a rhino, but let me just tell you about this. Nebraska's Republican governor, Pete Ricketts, and I looked into him a little bit, says he will call a special session to pass a total ban on abortion if the Supreme Court overturns Roe v. Wade this term. 
when asked if he thought the state should require a young girl who was raped to carry a pregnancy to term, like that would even happen, right? Ricketts, which, yes, she should. Ricketts said, told them, told Commie Nonsense Network CNN, there's still babies too. Yes. Nice. Nice. It'd be worse for the girl to not to have killed the baby. Worse for her. Duh. The governor's comments come as Supreme Court's so-called conservative majority, which is not true. It's not conservative majority. It's a rhino majority. Which is not even rhino majority. It's a rhino plurality, right? There's two conservatives on the court. Alito, I think, he's conservative, and uh, the great Justice Clarence Thomas. Trump only put in rhinos. He was only allowed to. And I love Trump. I don't care what you guys say. (laughs) Uh, Roe seems likely to overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 case, almost 40 years old. No, 50 years old, because I'm 40. The heck? Um, That purported to legalize abortion nationwide. More than a dozen states of so-called trigger laws. It says once this thing is overturned, pretty much immediately, abortion is outlawed for the most part. Nice, huh? Nebraska almost passed one such law this, this past month. But let me tell you about this guy, this Pete Ricketts guy. He's not so based. This is from Wikipedia, very trustworthy source. I know, maybe I should be using infogalac- infogalactic.com. Is it infogalactic? Infogalactic.com. Which is a parallel version of Wikipedia, Planetary Knowledge Core. I think that's by Vox Day. Not to be confused with Vox.com. Um, according to uh, the far left Wikipedia, after the t- amid, amid the 2020 Black Lives Matter riots, terror attacks, so-called protests, insurrection across the country, during a meeting on June 1st, 2020, this Pete Ricketts, rhino governor, Republican, allegedly used the phrase, and I would have loved this, the problem I have with you people, while talking to a room of mostly, bl- mostly full of black pastors and black community leaders, when Pastor Jared, Gerard, Gerard Parker walked out. It was later revealed that Ricketts said, you guys, not you people. You people is a supposedly a racist phrase. What? Racist! <laughs> I remember old Earl. Remember Earl? He called me racist when I said you people. Ricketts apologized for his choice of words. For saying you guys, really. He said you guys, and he apologized for it. So what did he apologize for, Chris asks. Exactly! Because he's a coward. He is a, hey, James, did you watch 1,000 Mules? No, I have not watched it, 1,000 Mules. I think it's 2,000, but I have not watched it. Shall I? I know people who've watched it. Some of them are raging about it, raving about it. But this guy is weak! He apologized for saying you guys, the problem I have with you guys. He should have said you people. Even if he said you people, he should not have apologized. Duh. But that's the kiss up mentality of even the rhinos. Never apologize as the great Ian from Martinez, California. Shout out, Ian, if you're listening. Shout out if you're not. He said, never apologize for being white. Fake report. <laughs> uh, and he's right. That's phony. It's you people. Yeah, he's talking to those people. And, and blacks in general act a certain way so frequently. Duh. That's why we say you people. What, you're not people? What, we're not talking about to you? What, you people don't act a certain way so frequently? What, you people don't vote 96% plus for Obama twice? Yes, you people. Give me a break. So phony. Any time you say something that inches toward the truth, they freak. They being the evil people. 
and then the cowards apologize. So, this guy is a traitor! <laughs> you know how the, I was listening to the Jesse Lee Peterson show? Or <laughs> Black's the Real Accelerationist. I was listening to the Jesse Lee Peterson show, and this, there was this, I think it was a first-time caller, <laughs> who, like, called Jesse a traitor. <laughs> like, he made a point. And he would talk over Jesse, and then Jesse finally got the word in edgewise, and then he just throws in a last little shot. Traitor. <laughs> and that's how I feel about this guy, Ricketts. R-I-C-K-E-T-T-S. Traitor. Pete Ricketts. And it's just cowardice. The cowardice is evil, and it leads to all kinds of evil. It opens the door to evil. Weakness. You know how women are scared or emotional or get in their head and just want to... <laughs> uh, <laughs> you were chuckling when he said that too. <laughs> Traitor. <laughs> Nick and I were just shut busting up when he said that. Oh my gosh. Um But you know how like women and you know men when they're emotional or when they're intellectual, they can be talked into and all kinds all manner of evil. You can be talked into thinking that it's good. To allow the children to go into, like, their delusion for, you know, the transgender stuff. Because you don't want them to, uh, commit suicide. There are other ways to prevent suicide, and there are better ways. The better ways are to address the root, not the symptom. Oh, let's keep the transgender agenda, but let's just try to solve this, uh, suicide evil. The transgender agenda, let's not call that evil. Let's not call it what it is. No, when you call it evil, you're expanding suicide. Nope. But then it's a bunch of evil versus evil because the Christians are not real. <laughs> uh, I remember hearing a chat from Asmodor that said, I don't know if it was, oh, it was actresses. Actors and actresses were ones held at a lower standard, at a, held to held in lower esteem than prostitutes prostitutes and so their val- their words were not valued but now we not well i guess i do in a sense like i value the, their words for entertainment value and to like debunk and to address and look how evil and insane these people are i hold it in value in that sense but people hold these musicians who are signing for to kill a, the babies musicians and liberals they want to ki- be able to kill the bobby, b- babies, bodily autonomy for the women. Uh, those people are to be held in very low regard. They're not supposed to sh- speak their politics. They don't have good politics. They don't have sense. They were, they're in their own little dumb world, you know? So wrong. So sick. Um, shaking my head. Yeah, so Pete Ricketts, even though he's maybe going to do the right thing about abortion, don't fall for it. <laughs> uh, don't fall for it. Let me talk, speaking of the transgender kids, let me talk a, a little bit about that. I mentioned this in Hake News at the end of hour two, I believe, of the Jesse Lee Peterson show, you know, I do hate news. I'm also an expert on JLP. Alongside Chris and Nick, I'm on, like, the center left. <laughs> uh, in Texas on Friday, the state's so-called Supreme Court said the state can investigate parents for child abuse if they pro- provide gender-affirming care. What a, what a euphemism. Gender affirming care to their trans kids, another euphemism. Greg Abbott, there's another piece of work, another rhino, but to his credit, I guess, I don't know the de- specifics of this law. Maybe it doesn't go far enough. All kinds of things can be wrong with what rhinos do and with what decent Republicans like Trump do, right? But Greg Abbott, rhino governor of Texas, signed this rule into law that the the state can investigate parents who al- allow and push their children into this transgender mess, right? Gender affirming care. Back in February, but came with pushback in a lawsuit. A court is saying that Abbott 
overreached and didn't have the authority to order the investigations. So while the court gave these investigations the green light, it also put other investigations on hold. So both sides are claiming victory, right? So this state Supreme Court of Texas is not very based either. What a confusing story, right? Very confusing. I remember that there was a lawsuit brought by a, a state of Texas or a, you know, a social worker, a woman who works for the government in Texas. I don't know if it was city or county or state government in Texas as a so-called social worker. And her like 15 year old son or daughter was like into the transgender mess. And this woman supported that mess. And so she was being investigated according to her. And so she sued the state of Texas or whatever. Lambda Legal. Lambda. Is that the organization that supports man-boy stuff? Maybe not. Maybe I'm confused. (laughs) But Lambda Legal helped bring the lawsuit against Texas on behalf of the parents of the 16-year-old. Called the decision a win because it puts the state's investigation into their family on hold. So it's this mixed ruling. What is up with these so-called judges? Unanimous ruling on a controversial issue. Controversial means it's trying to do what's right. It's in the direction of what's right. They, that's what the liberals call it, controversial. That's NPR's word for it. Meaning, half, meaning part way sensible. That's NAMBLA, Hake. <laughs> Not Lambda. But same thing, right? Lambda legal. So-called civil rights organization that focuses on lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, so-called communities, which they're not a community. And they're not even those things. As well as people with HIV and AIDS through impact litigation, societal education, and public policy. Founded in 1973, that's the gay decade. Lambda, lambda, lambda. It's a 501c3, by the way. It's in the same status as a so-called church. This place. A non-profit. Pretty vulgar, huh? It instructed child welfare officials to investigate reports of gender-confirming, so-called gender-confirming care for kids. And this is CBS News using this language without any quotation marks or anything. They actually think it's gender confirming care for kids. And they use the word kids. I thought that meant child goat. (laughs) So sick, huh? What a mess. And Texas is not the only one over in Alabama. On Friday, a federal judge blocked part of a law that made it a felony to prescribe puberty blockers and hormones to transgender minors, meaning underage people, underage uh, children and young. Can you call them young adults if they're not 18? I guess legally they're not even adults, just children, teenagers, underage teenagers and children in Alabama. Based Alabama, right? But a federal judge blocked part of that law that made it a felony to prescribe the puberty blockers and hormones to so-called transgender minors. So evil federal judge meddling in the state of Alabama. The ban went into effect last week, making that type of so-called care, it's not care, a felony offense punishable by up to 10 years in prison. Thank you, Alabama. But now a judge, so-called judge, saying the state did not have credible evidence to support its claims that the medications are experimental and blocked it for now. Still other parts of the law, including banning doctors from performing gender-affirming surgeries on children, remain in place. U.S. District Judge Lyles Burke. And that's a male... Is that a white? Don't know. Looks sort of white. I don't know. These judges, they're such intellectuals. 
That's where Kay Ivey is, by the way. Kay Ivey, the old woman who's a governor, a female governor in Alabama. Man, the South, I love you, but we gotta, we got work to do. We got some waking up to do. Am I right? <sighs> Terrible. You know, um, let me tell you a little bit about this, uh, the people, one of the guys, and I use the term guy loosely. Maybe I should say one of the gays. I think he calls himself that. Who is pushing this stuff. The far left female run out let the skim says, P.S. Check out our interview with the Trevor Project CEO, Emmett Amit Paley. And I have some pictures of this guy. Cover your eyes, kids, maybe? Uh, Amit Peely, he, I've covered the Trevor Project before. The Trevor Project pushes, they pretend like they're saving the kids from, uh, look at this. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, Amit Peely, this is his, his, uh, Twitter bio. CEO and executive director at Trevor Project. Fighting for and hashtag saving young LGBTQ lives. No, that's not what you're doing. You're fighting against them. You're fighting for the, the degeneracy inside of them, but you're hoping that you can do that and get away with it so that they don't kill themselves. Because this guy is trying to prevent suicide, right? Keep the gay, keep the degeneracy, but prevent the suicide. But by doing that, they're expanding it, I say. Save the body and lose the soul. I'm proud to announce, he tweeted uh, a week or two ago, the release of the Trevor Project's 2022 National Survey on LGBTQ Youth Mental Health today. Hashtag Mental Health Awareness Month is May, right? And there's a hash flag on it with this, with this, like, rainbow heart thing. Not a godly rainbow, by the way. And he has key findings in this article. 2022 survey. Dot the Trevor Project dot org. And he's pretending that the LGBTQ youth can have mental health. Compared to what? By definition, they are mentally ill. Spiritually ill, that's for sure. Why is that woman red? Why is, the, why is that one blue? Why is that one orange? Yeah, that's, that, that's what Chris was commenting on with another thing. This is slightly less ugly art. But it's still ugly art. But this guy, I looked into him. I looked into, like, you know, just little, like, let me see what this guy is about. And sure enough, I look at pictures of him and he seems like a I uh, seem he has like a relatively normal face let me see so I see this New York Slimes article from 2019 and I'm like oh cover your ears, cover your eyes kids cover your eyes for at least 30 seconds this New York Times article from 2019 it has two names on the headline I guess it's a so-called wedding announcement Ah, uh, November 24th, 2009. Ah, uh, <laughs> cover your eyes. It has two males. With their smiles that are not morally straight smiles. And, uh, Jonathan David Namark and Amit Ruveni Pele were quote-unquote married, which is not real, in the Rainbow Room in New York. Rabbi, Rabbi! Sharon Kleinbaum officiated. What? And so this guy, he's not a, he's not a, a straight. <laughs> well, big surprise, right? He's the CEO of the Trevor Project, which promotes the gay agenda. But tries to prevent the kids from killing each other. Look at that! What in the world? And then that's their, I don't know, I guess that's like a, a quote-unquote wedding picture. And the, in the back... 
like behind one of these guys behind the guy that I'm referring to who runs the Trevor project he posted this on his IG right this is on his IG there's a man who's like an old man white hair or gray hair and he has like one of the those hats you know the you know the Jewish hat <laughs> I'm like what's this guy smiling about he shouldn't be smiling they don't support this stuff do they and then you see next to him the woman like ah what the world is that his wife is this like the guy's dad and his dad's wife wife or his mom mom and dad mother and father mother and whatever that is so weird oh my gosh i'm looking at the to the side and there's two other old folks on the on the right of this picture and that guy the father the other purported father i don't know i'm assuming that these are family um, also has that. It's like I thought that they were traditional and they were for like moral straightness. Don't doesn't the Old Testament the Old Testament they believe in that stuff, right? Doesn't the Old Testament say that this is a, an abomination for a, a man to lie with a man? And I it looks like so wrong. So sick, huh? <laughs> uh. Um, hopefully you've covered your eyes, kids, for more than 30 seconds because I've gone on for longer than that. But that's just... It's shocking. And there's wor- there's other evil stuff, like this guy participated, or took a photo, and you can see, like, more of his- He has... Not the Chad body that it- Like, his face looks kind of like a- oh, okay, he's like his handsome guy, but then I look at his- I look at him standing next to a bunch of- I guess these are drag queens, the garish look. Cover your eyes again, kids. And I'll tell you when you can uncover them. Or go out of the room. He, uh, he is, thinks it's an honor to join these, what he calls, fabulous queens of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars. And these look like little demons. And cover your eyes, kids, because one of the people has a t-shirt that says the F-word on it. But anyway, look at this guy's body, though. <laughs> This pudgy body, what the heck? It's like when you see this these people on TV and they look all manly, and then you see their bodies like what? What happened? Uh anyway, that's just a side note. But horrible stuff. This guy's proudly I mean, I guess if he works for the pro- Trevor Project supporting transgender and non-binary young people, that you would you would expect that he supports that stuff, but uh it's just shocking to see this this stuff. Not good. Not good. Ashley doubts a lot of kids watch this show. <laughs> Whatever. So what? If it's just a few of them, it's okay for them to see this stuff? I Okay, you can uncover your eyes now, kids. <laughs> Whatever, Ashley. Naysayer. The kids love Hague. <laughs> Rich. Rich from like San Francisco area says, oh my god, heaven forbid Wow. Uh, heaven forbid gay people love each other. Uh, it's not that heaven forbids it. They by definition don't love each other. There's no such thing. Okay? <laughs> FYI. He's called my show once or twice before. Oh yeah, he called toward the end of the, sh- the show on Friday and I told him uh, you know, we're at the end of the show. Oh, and his phone was messed up. He wasn't ready. So I had to go to my favorite caller, Maze, in which I was glad to do that. Um, oh my gosh, she's on the line. That's funny. Um, let me... Oh my gosh, we're at 10 minutes till. Let me get to John in Kentucky. John in Kentucky, how are you doing? I'm good, man. No man is good, but... I'm good, man. Okay, whatever. Good question you, for you, though. It's not good. You're not good. Uh, what do you think should happen to that shooter, man? Uh, that's a good question. That's an easy question. He should be tried, and if he's found guilty, he should get, yeah. uh, I mean, honestly, you kill that many people, that's the death penalty. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, but, uh... I- but you know they get they try the death penalty for hate crimes and I don't agree with hate crimes so it's going to be a politically I motivated. I don't agree with hate crimes either. I don't yeah. think they should be happening. But man, you, I called in just to see if you was going to beat around the bush and you kind of did, man. That's an easy question. 
if it would have happened to 10 white people, you would have quickly said death penalty. You think so? What? It's hard oh, to yeah, say. I know so. It's hard to say. No, man, you're... Your bias is so thick, man. I mean, it's easy to it's easy. <laughs> well, you to know say. why, right? Can I explain why? I mean, go ahead. Man. Okay. Sure, the reason sure. why I beat around the bush a little bit is because we all know that there's a disproportionate attack against white people, especially when they do something to blacks. Oh, Lord, do you know that? Nah, man. Yeah. If you did, you see the reaction? Did you see the the country get torn apart when uh, Derek Chauvin? Innocently knee- kneeled on the shoulder blade and, and no, neck area no. of Georgia, Florida. Did you see the country tear- get torn apart by the evil Black Lives that's Matter the, and Antifa insurrectionists? That's the bias I'm talking about. Yeah, that's man. the bias. He shouldn't, he shouldn't exactly. Have, he shouldn't have, exactly. He shouldn't have had his knee on uh, the guy's neck that's anyway. A, that's I'm debatable. Talking about, I'm talking about your bias. That's debatable. I'm about your bias. No, that's debatable. You I'm saying that there's an over- in there, Hold on, John. and all that. There, okay, yeah, but I ain't yeah. got all. I ain't got all day, man. I know, but I'll the point ahead. is, the point is, there was an overreaction to a white doing something to a black, and they asked, and that was, you know, that's in the police training, by the way. So it's quite I, debatable that he shouldn't wrong, have had man. the knee. You don't have to compare. No, it's uh, I know that's why it's wrong for them to clamp down extra hard on the whites and go easy on everybody else. But what I'm saying, from my perspective, when I listen to you, you yeah. don't have to bring up another story. If both of them are wrong, then both of them are wrong. You don't have to bring up another story to trump the other story. What if I feel and like that's it? That's what you do. That's why. That's why. And you, you're only showing that you're you're biased, though. You can feel I'm like it all you want towards to, but the you're, truth. You're not an honest. You're not an honest person. You wouldn't know evil, honesty if it if it. You're uh, evil. You're a devil. Are you an honest and, person? Yes, I am. You are. Yes, I am. Then why did you call yourself good? Because I'm good. No, you're not good. No man is good. That's Look, you that's don't believe from in Jesus. the Bible, Jesse. You don't believe in the Bible, Jesse. Don't believe in I the Bible. I don't have to believe in the Bible. It's so, truth. So stop quoting it. Stop quoting you it. Don't tell me what to quote or what not to quote. That makes you a hypocrite. That no, makes it doesn't. You a hypocrite, man. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Then why do you call yourself good? Look, if it's, I gotta do you go. believe I gotta in the Bible, go, man? Do, quickly, do you of believe co- in the Bible? Yes or no. I believe in the Word of God, yes. I gotta go. (laughs) All right, bye. That's nice. Short and sweet. All right, um, Richard in California, you got just a couple of minutes, man. I appreciate you calling back. What's up? Dude, what's up with you and transgender people? What do you mean? You think that they shouldn't have health care? Uh... They can have normal health care. They can pay for their own health care. What? what do you mean, normal health care? Normal health care, like, they get sick, they can go to the doctor. Yeah. So, why should they be designated not to get their transgender pills? Transgender pills aren't good for you? What the heck? You, fall, you, you, you actually fell for that? You think that's health care? You think transgender you, pills is health care? Do I care what somebody else is doing to their body? Should I care? Yeah, would sometimes. I care? As a man, would I care? as a man, Save yeah, man. you should stand for what's right and some, for sanity. It has nothing to do with me. I know you you're. About are you a libertarian? Are you a law libertarian? No, I just don't care about other people's business. It has you, nothing to do with me. You know, man, stay close to your phone. Well, to me, that's, it's that's like. To me, it is child like abuse when they. Mad. You don't think it's, would you, would you get mad if, if, uh, if a child were maimed in some other way by a, by a mother? So if the child, so if the child, which is the law in Alabama, is anybody under the age of 19 can't get pills because a judge decided that they would put a ban on that to make sure that they can still receive the pills. By the way, it was a judge appointed by Trump, which you conveniently left out of your article. I don't care. It was the judge. Tr- Trump was only allowed to appoint rhino judges. Okay, I don't want... It, that just means that Trump is a bad judge of character. No, he, right? he was, he was, he was only he able to... Through. Hold on, man. He was only able to appoint people that the Senate would approve. Oh, so he's just not strong, he's just not strong enough to appoint people that he Yeah, wanted, I mean, so one man weak. is not stronger than the whole rest of the government against him. And then he's weak, right? He's weaker than the whole rest of the government. Yeah, every man is weak. Are you weak? All I need to know is if he's weak. 
I don't care what other people do with their kids. They're not my kids. You're weak. You're weak then. Do you have kids? No. You don't have kids? No. But you want to tell me what to do with my kids? Yes. It's too bad you can't, right? Yes, I can. Yeah, how are you going to do it? I'm going to tell you right now. Don't put your kids through uh, the transgender stuff. That's child abuse. Dude, if my... If my daughter decides to wake up instead of being called Rachel, wants to be called Richard, I can care less. I know. You don't care about your kids. It doesn't, ma- it doesn't mean that I'm going to love her any less. You don't love her at or all. Or him. You don't love hi- him or her at all. Oh, I'm sorry. You have kids, so you can quantify love, right? I don't have kids, and I know that okay, that's not love. Basically, you don't have any opinion or say in the matter. I have lots of opinions and lots to say. Have, you have a personal opinion that no one cares No, it's about not an opinion. If nobody cares about why you call my show, buddy. Ah, gotcha. Okay, I called you to <laughs> tell you that you, don't, you shouldn't have an opinion on somebody else's kids. You shouldn't They're have an opinion yours. on whether I have an opinion on somebody else's kids. Why do you have an opinion about somebody else's kids? Actually, it's no opinion at all. It's the truth. They, it's, it's wrong to do that to kids. Why is it wrong? Because you say it's wrong? Yeah, I mean, you don't, you don't think it's wrong to uh, go along with the delusion? What's the delusion? The delusion is that a kid who's, who's a boy thinks he's a girl, and you think that that's... Who cares? That's, Why do you care? Because I, uh, I'm a, I am a male, I am a Christian, uh, so what? You gonna, you and gonna it is... You're going to take that kid on one of your pray the gay away? What? Or pray the transgender away? Now you're just say, making up oh, stuff. We kids? We're going to fix the kids by praying the transgender away? Come on, man. That doesn't work. I didn't say it did work, and I didn't say that's, that's what I would do. You're just assuming. <laughs> assuming? Yes. It's asinine to think that you should be <laughs> able to tell other kids what they need to do. It's, but because it's you're 40, asinine, you have no kids. It's asinine to, to leave the kids to the, to the uh, wh- whims of the mothers. But you do it. You do it anyway. I'm just saying you shouldn't care. You're not about saying what other anything. Do in their own house, huh? It's not your house. Why worry about it? There's it's my so country. Many other to be worried about. It's my country, and they're making it our business by forcing it's everybody else to go along country. with. It's Hold on, man. Our country. No, it's my country. They're making it no, our business. They try to enough. force us to go along with their delusion. You know they, how you did you know that things? the LGBT get in your face? If you're a Christian and you disagree, they get all crazy. They, they flaunt their vulgarness and all kinds of stuff. How do they flaunt their vulgarness? They have pride parades, and they try to pass oh. laws against being Christian and against saying that it's wrong. Wait, 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 wait. They wait, try, wait. To, they try to take law? away your freedom of speech. What law? Okay, what law has been passed? It's not just law, by but LGBT? there are plenty of... No, no, you, that, that's what you said. I gotta go, man. That's what you said. It's not what I said. I didn't say that. You said, yeah, you said they pass laws. What we are, law we are pass? at, we are overtime, buddy. You can call me again. Take care. Um, take care, Rich, Richard, from uh, the sundown town, I wish, <laughs> of San Francisco. Guys, we are overtime. We are at the top of the hour. I got to end it. Blaze and Hogs in Dayton, Ohio, wanted to talk about the Blood Moon last night. Maybe I'll post it on, on Hey Guy G. Shout out, Blaze and Hogs. Sorry, I cannot get to you. Justin in Fullerton, California, wanted to talk about the New York subway shooter and the Buffalo shooter. Subway shooter was black. Uh, and he didn't hit anybody. <laughs> Incompetence. Thank you, guys. TheHakeReport.com. I will be announcing upcoming appearances. You can find... One new upcoming appearance on thehakereport.com slash appearances. Thanks, guys, and take care. Adios.